so hello everyone so this is mrityunjay chemistry faculty in resonance hyderabad and today i'm going to explain your beautiful concept of chemistry that is mole concept so when student came in 11th mole concept seems to be very tough but in this video we will simply explain how we can simplify this term mole concept what actually is mole concept so whenever you go to the supermarket and you want to get 1 kg of rice or whenever you want to take some fruits you take it in dozen now what doesn't represent dozen is representing 12 units in the similar way suppose if i will ask you so i have a water molecules i have a glass of water and i will ask you how many water molecules are there present in this water bottle you cannot tell me exactly what the number of atoms practically impossible but chemistry has its own answer chemistry will tell you how many water molecules present in this glass of bottle suppose if i will give you a pure gold something foil like that and if i will ask you how many gold atoms are there then again the problem will be there you will say ki i cannot exactly calculate the number of atoms but the chemistry has its answers now we can see the definition then introduction of mole will come due to the by the help of mole we can exactly tell how many water molecules are present in a glass of water so what is the definition is saying this is the standard definition a mole is the amount of substance that contains as many entities and entities could be atoms it could be molecules like in case of water molecules it was molecules or other particles like ions also electrons protons neutrons we will see are there are atoms in exactly 12 gram of the carbon 12 isotope by seeing it first time we could be confused that what is this carbon 12 isotope what is this 12 gram but this is very simpler carbon 12 isotope is taken as a standard because in this carbon 12 isotope we are getting an exactly a number that is we will see 6.022 into 10 ki power 23 atoms and in if you see one mole also is having 6.022 into 10 ki power 23 that's why it is taken as a standard that it is valid for everything so if i want to write what is basically one mole so one mole is 6.022 into 10 ki power 23 particles suppose if i am writing it like entities particles may it could be atoms it could be ions it could be molecules so one mole basically is representing this and this is also we will learn further that this is represented by na and this is called avogadro's number it has been given by a scientist that's why the number is called avogadro's number we will see later what are the applications of this avogadro number but i am clear that it means what you are getting that one mole of something like one mole water molecules if it is having then it will be having 6.022 into 10 ki power 23 molecules of water if i have given you a one mole of gold foil then it will be having 6.022 into 10 ki power 23 atoms so basically you get the idea that if there is carbon 12 isotope was taken as a reference 12 g one mole it is consisting so it means one mole of having something will it have 6.022 into 10 ki power 23 particles and one more application of that this is entity suppose i have 6.022 into 10 ki power 23 cheers then we can say we are having one mole of cheers obviously if i have a 6.022 into 10 ki power 23 pens it will be one mole pen but generally we use this huge number so we actually use it for a very very small particles like water particles in oceans distance of sun from earth these very tiny tiny particles we use this avogadro number so let's see now what this avogadro number actually representing so as we were discussing about this particular number that what actually this number is 6.022 into 10 ki power 23 particles particles could be atoms it could be ions it could be molecules anything so what this basically this is represented by na okay and this particular number is called as avogadro's number as earlier as already discussed that this is used to represent quantities like chair also it could be it could be pen also it could be atoms it could be ions it could be electrons it could be protons anything so it is used to represent the quantities and it is used for representing very tiny particles suppose if you want to calculate the number of electrons if you want to calculate the number of water molecules in sea water molecule in glass of water like that 
way you can get it by avogadro's number so number of particles in one mole as already i have discussed what it will be it will be na and this is exactly equal to number of atoms in one mole of carbon 12 in one mole of carbon 12 we will have the same number of atoms that is na over here also number of particles in one mole we are having na particles but surprisingly sometimes students get this problem that mass of one mole of gold will not be equal to mass of one mole of carbon 12 exactly the number of atoms in one mole or number of particles or atoms in one mole it is same but not exactly with the moles of mass why it's so simple that if you take one molecule mass of gold and if you take one mass of one molecule of suppose water or carbon 12 it will be different when it will be different then it will be obviously different for one mole so in the next videos we will see what exactly uh, masses is meaning but for the time being you have to remember that the number of particles are same but not the mass so this is all about this video i hope you have enjoyed watching this video if you have enjoyed please subscribe our youtube channel for getting these much chemistry updates where i am loving to decode the chemistry hard concepts thank you